My name is Z. I'm the co-founder and CEO of WM.Digital. I'm a front-end developer and designer for WordPress since 2010 and WooCommerce since 2014. WooCommerce is a very powerful e-commerce solution. It's open source, free, and available to everybody. It provides everything you need to set up your online store. So you have your WooCommerce store, now what? Plugins are often used to support a WordPress site and WooCommerce as well. Today I'm going to share with you, I'm going to talk to you about how to enhance your WooCommerce store with plugins and some other things. Before you install a new plugin, make sure you always test it on a staging environment. Staging is basically a clone of your website where you can make any changes without affecting your live site. That way you can test and make sure the plugins is compatible with, the, with your themes and other plugins. Remember always to always back up your site before making any changes. WooCommerce is a great solution for your online business, but sometimes you want more. There are plugins that I'm going to share today that have helped our clients with their WooCommerce store in different ways, such as operations and marketing. The first plugin I'm going to talk about is called Custom Product Tabs for WooCommerce. WooCommerce comes with description, additional info, and review tabs on the product page. We have a client that sells hair tools, hair dryers, and flat irons. They wanted to include the styling tips and instructions on how to do, use their tools. We didn't want to add it to the description area because it would be too long, and it would distract them from shopping. So what we did, we added new tabs for them. And I'm going to show you in the back end. So Are you all logging into this or have access to the back end of the website? So here is the custom product tabs for WooCommerce. So make sure it's activated. If you're following what I'm going to do, just make sure this is activated. And then go to products, all products. I have some demo products here, so I'm just going to go to one of them. Here, if you scroll down to product data, this area, you see an extra tab on the left called custom tabs. Click on it, you will see two buttons, add a tab or add a save tab. Here, you can add a new title for the tab and enter the information, whether it's instructions or if you a, um, a um, hold on one second, instructions. Or size chart, if you're selling clothing, um, shipping and delivery, if you have a specific ship date, or ingredients, if you want to sell personal item or medicine. The, the good thing about this plugin is you can actually save your tab. As you can see, add a save tab. So if this tab is going to appear on every other product, so you don't have to do it all, you know, every time. So you just copy and paste and save this. Come back here and just use the same tab. Sure. Yeah, it's going to look like this. New tab, this is the test. That's how it looks on the front end. Yes, you can with this plugin. Yeah, absolutely. That's called a save, save a tab or add a save tab. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to because, yeah. Sorry? 
Exactly. That's where you want to put. If you can put it as return policy. Right. And then whatever your policy here, save tabs. Then make sure you update. Go to view product. Yeah, return policy. Because like your description will go here. That's the first one that's gonna show up. And you don't want it to be too long. So hmm? It does. It depends on your theme. So this one is called the storefront from WooCommerce. So it, it, the setup looks like this. It can be like horizontal. This is vertical. So, but. Yeah. So let me show you, right. Let me show you how this works. So if you want to add a save tab, that's no save tab. So what you will have to do is say, let's say this return policy is going to be on every single product. So let's go to save tabs here, back to the plugin. And it should let you. Add, let you add a new one. I don't know where the. Yeah, thank you. There you go. So return policy. Is, is, we, or just put return policy. This is just for your reference. Back to the same product. It should show up as <coughs> choose one. So if this is what we just added, so yes. And boom, it's here. Am I going too fast or no? Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. What is that? The site that you gave an example of? I, I want to look at that. What is that site? Oh, that is actually for, um, that site is the, I was given by the, by WordCamp, WCMIA, 82. Yeah. Oh, you want us to see that? I can send it to you. After this, because I this is the first plugin, I still have a bunch. Is that okay? I'll give you my card after this. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So, if you want to include a slip, a packing slip to your package that your customer order online, or you want to send your customer an invoice, then this WooCommerce FDB F. PDF, invoices, and packing slips is for you. With this plugin, here, let me go to the back end again. You go to WooCommerce, set it. Make sure it's, if you're following me on your computer, make sure you have this activated. And then you will go to WooCommerce, PDF, invoices. Here, under the general settings, you can set up how do you want to view the PDF. Choose a template. If you have your own design template, you can upload it there. Choose the paper size. The nice thing is you can actually upload your logo, so you can so your in the packing slip or invoice look like from your company. You the the store name, address, and then on the footer you can put under terms and conditions disclaimer. Then you can also set up under documents for the invoice. How do you want to, when, when do you want your customer to receive the invoice? It can be from the new order, from completed order. So these are different statuses uh, of WooCommerce, the WooCommerce process when an order comes in. 
You can also choose whether to display shipping address, email, uh, invoice number, and so forth. When you send out, what's, it depends on your business. Some business want to send out an invoice when the order is complete to an invoice to the customer. So, hey, this is, you know, your order. Yeah. Yeah, some, exactly. They, well, on the, when you order, let's say you have a WooCommerce store, when you order, they will get email notification. Just like when you order online, you will get, we receive your order, and then once it's completed, you will say your order is on the way, it's completed. So they are just getting emails. But if some customers, we have like wholesale clients that they want to make sure they're, you know, that they're, they have their big orders, so they want an invoice. So make sure, so this, is, this will come in handy because WooCommerce doesn't have that functionality. It really depends on the business. So it's a, it's a good option if that's what you, huh? Sure. <laughs> uh, I, I can send it to work, work camp people and then maybe they can send it, yeah. So. Yeah, that's how the invoice will look like. The packing slip is almost identical. So, oops, where am I getting it? No, these plugins, like, they're all free. They have features, advanced features that you can pay for, but, you know, to use the stuff that I just talked about is free. So, there's only one plugin that I'm going to talk about that might cost a little, but everything else is free. I'm sorry? Oh, what fine ninja? Where? Oh. <laughs> you know, WooCommerce use ninja as their mascot, so I guess that's what it is. It would be nice to, you can buy a flying ninja. <laughs> okay, so this, how many of you actually own or plan to own a multilingual site? Multilingual, like different languages. Okay, good. So this plugin, I mean, do you, how do you handle your multilingual site right now? Google Translate? Okay, how do you find it, the accuracy? Right? <laughs> we don't say that, but we all know. Um, so this plugin is, is it's created by WPML. It's a huge uh, plugin company. Uh, they basically dominate the uh, translation market in WordPress and WooCommerce. Um, and this one in particular is called, is called WooCommerce Multilingual Run WooCommerce with WM, WPML. You can translate all your WooCommerce products and pages whether it's sim simple, variable, grouped, or external, and keep the same language, languages through the checkout process, send emails and to clients and admins in their language, allow inventory tracking without breaking products into languages, and you can have one single WooCommerce store without multiple currencies. So the good thing is you can see from this demo, they don't have it, they didn't install it on, on the website, so I can't really show you live. But you can see here on the left, this is called the, um, I think it's called the uh, product translator, translation editor. So once you install this plugin, you will see on the left side is English, and then the right side is whatever language. It's just Greek, you can be Spanish, it can be what have you, and then you can enter your own translation. So you don't have to rely on anybody, so you know it's accurate all the time. Uh, one thing about this plugin is you need to have the WML, WPML plugin, which is $29 for a single site, and activate the module. The MPML translation management, MPML 
string translation and MP, WPML sorry, media. Any questions on this one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, the WPML, first of all, that's the main plugin that you will need. And then WPML translation management, which is part of the plugin. So you just need to activate the module. And then the WPML string translation is here. I'm sorry if you can't. And WPML media. Like the WPML will translate, just the $25, $29 one will translate everything on the site. Not WordPress though, not just, not WordPress site. Now this one that I'm showing you on the screen also works on WooCommerce. So it will go down into the product level. No, you actually have to enter it yourself. Right. So here, if you can see, the left side is English and the right side is whatever language. So that way you have full control of what is correct. What, yes? Say that again, I'm sorry. No, you don't, that's the beauty of it. You don't, so once you install this plugin, you, it will come with like a product editor, just like this one, or page editor, that will show you this screen so you can enter your own translation. So you don't have to create multiple sites, you don't have to create multiple pages. Yes? I'm sorry? Will Google index? That's a good question. That's a very good question. I would say they should, but I'm not 100% sure. I would, I would think so. Okay, y yes. Yes, when you switch the language, it will create a separate link. Well, um, well if this is just a one slide, it's more complicated in the back end, not in the, to the point that you can't handle it yourself. It's just there are more steps, like you can choose many different languages. Yes, there's an option, just like when you see like different flags, depends on how you want to use it, or you, you can say English, Spanish, French. The what? Geolocation. Uh, that, that one, you might have to set it up on a server level. I'm not sure this plugin will support to that level. Yeah, but that's a good point, because you want to, yeah, you want the geolocation to detect where your customer is coming from and hopefully show that language. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Um, WooCommerce provides a pretty standard checkout page. It asks for general information such as um, name, email, phone number, address, billing, and shipping info. There may be time you want to add more fields to the checkout page. With this plugin called Checkout WooCommerce Checkout Manager, you can add more fields in the general billing and shipping areas. You can also add anything under a new section called additional information. So let's get, yeah, huh? for certain items. Or would it be the same for like It will be the same. This is just for the checkout page. So it will be the same for... Can you make them fill out like registration form? Yes, so depends on what registration form. So let me show you. So here's the plugin, WooCommerce Checkout. So here you can set up general like settings and then if you want to add something to the billing section, you go here. So this is what, these are all the information already on the billing, so you can add more if you want. On the shipping section, and a different area, a new area. So 
If you have certain questions you want to ask your customers, uh, you know, before they purchase, uh, with their purchase, this is where you'll edit. And you can choose from many different types, like the text area or password, radio buttons, checkbox, select options, day picker. This is particularly helpful if you if this is a delivery related service. Time picker, color picker, what have you. So the in the front. So when you when they fill it out, you will get it on the order page. Your customer will get it on the order email, and you will get it from your admin email. One thing I want to mention is this is a really cool feature. Um, you're probably thinking I have a few things I want to add. Just be careful. Um, you don't want to add too many things, and make sure that whatever you're going to add, your customer can easily answer. Because once, you, once they get to the checkout page, you want them to just go buy your stuff. You don't want to hold them off from the, back, from the checkout process. So, yes. This one is the email that you, your, check, your customer is going to get after. Right, and then it will give them a summary, like here, additional information. So without this plugin, you wouldn't be able to add the additional questions that you want to ask your customer, and it will not show up here. Oops. Yes, the answers will show up after, but the questions will show up on the checkout page before they check out. I'm sorry? Okay. Are you guys using the same back end I am? Okay, good, because I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's called the WooCommerce Checkout Manager. Yeah, you make sure you activate it. Yes, sorry. Uh, the packaging slip. The packing, the packing slip is different. That is just an email to confirm your order. The packing slip is something that you want to print and include it in a box in the package when you, before you, when you send it to you, when you send the product. Uh huh. What do you mean, either or? Oh, you can do both. You can do invoice. You mean talking about the invoice, right? Yes. Oh, this one is this one is automatic as as long as you set it up. So. They will always get a order uh, confirmation like this one. Invoice is just an option. Yeah, it, it, if you don't install that plugin, no invoice will ever get sent. So, yeah, no problem. Any questions? Any more questions? Okay. How many of you sell on Amazon? Oh, one. Okay. So, if you already have a seller, Amazon seller account. This plugin will let your customer purchase on your WooCommerce store using the Amazon account credit card and also all the shipping information. It will definitely expedite the, ship, the checkout process. And it's called Amazon Payment Gateway for WooCommerce. So let me go in. Amazon Gateway, Payment Gateway for WooCommerce Basic. So this is the one. If you go to Settings, here it will it will see the the different setups that you have to enter. Like first, if you want to use it, you have to enable it, and then here you have to obtain payments credentials from your Amazon account. So what you can do is click here API, and then enter your information. I mean, log into your account. We don't have an Amazon account, so I can't really show you. But once you log in, you should be able to find your merchant ID, your access key, secret keys, Amazon client ID, and Amazon client secret code. Copy and paste and put it on here. And then hit save changes. There are other options too. If you're a premium, if you have a premium account with this plugin, so I don't know how much extra, but this is a free plugin. Um, 
Once you set it all up, you will see this button on your checkout page. And give them the option to pay. Another nice thing is with this plugin, you can set it to sandbox mode. I don't know if you, any one of you know sandbox. That is like a test mode for credit card payment. So before you make it live and letting people pay with it, you want to test it on your own and make sure that the payment is working. So this is the same box mode. Any, yes? Yes, sure. Is um, under WooCommerce settings, and then check out. And down here, Amazon payments. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like kind of like PayPal. That so people pay with PayPal on your site, but this is Amazon. Oh, you read my slide. The next one I'm going to go over is Square. <laughs> Are we good with Amazon payment? Okay, Square. Uh, well, how many of you use Square? Wonderful. Okay, so I think starting a couple months ago, you can this plugin. You can use this WooCommerce plugin for free. So that's why I wanted to talk about it today. I think that's awesome. Um, now let's go to the back end and see. Again, settings, check out. And then this time we want to go to square. A couple of, uh, a few things before we, we start entering information. First, when you lo when, once you install and activate the plugin, you will see three different warnings. Don't worry, it's nothing bad. It's just telling you you need to follow these steps to use this plugin. So first, you have to connect your Square account. So click on that. Here it says connect, disconnect. So connect with Square. We have a Square account, so we're going to connect it. Yes. So it's just telling you it's authenticating. So next one is to set your business location. Just follow the warnings. Okay, here we did set up a business location. So this is for people who may have like multiple businesses under their Square account. So they ask you which one you want to use. So we only have one, so we want to use this one. Another thing you can do, this is the synchronization. It's pretty cool. You can sync up your products, your categories, your inventory, your images from your Square account to your WooCommerce account or your store or vice versa, as long as you have a skill number that they can match with. Okay, so we'll save. Let's see what else we have to do. One more thing. Square is enabled, but the force SSL option is disabled. So let's do that. Square is asking you to use SSL. We do have an SSL on this site, so we're good. We just need to force secure checkout, which is right here. Check that box. Save changes. So no more warnings. So we should be good. Just go back to Square and double check. So make sure this is enabled. This box is checked. You can change how your credit card, uh, your name, the title. Uh, you, if you don't want to show square, square, you can just delete it. And then pay with credit cards. There are some more options. If you want to delay capture payment, you can do that. Or create a customer in Square when, somebody, when someone purchased on your WooCommerce store. Or turn on debug mode when there's an issue. So we don't want any of that, so we're just safe. Yeah. 
create customer in Square. If you if if you're using both simultaneously, like sometimes you don't you want to have the customer on. If you have a retail store, let's say, and you're using Square for your retail, and you know you want to sync your customer. So if the customer comes into your store, you already have the info on Square. So if you don't sync, then they're kind of silo. WooCommerce has their own customer. Square has is so. Again, it's just it really based on the business. I would I would want to think. It really depends on your business. So so let's say let's add something to cart. Proceed to checkout. Just want to see. Yep. Any questions so far? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you can do that. You can do both Square and PayPal, and even Amazon. You can have all three. Yeah, they will still show up at two different. So you, you, it looks like you have two credit cards payments. Yeah. Uh, I would choose one. Because it in the front end it might be confusing, if you have if you're accepting like, if there are two areas for credit cards like which one should I choose, so, yeah. Yes. Oh okay. Yes. I'm sorry, so how do you put, how do you do it? Okay. So let's go back to check out. Go back to the additional, because it doesn't belong, do you want to put it under general or additional, right? Okay. So. I'm sorry, say it again. Yeah, so radio buttons. There you go, genders. Let me see. Sorry, too fast, hang on. So you enter your option here. Yeah, I want to go back. So, there you go. So, okay, <laughs> back to the original. So, if you want to have more fields come up, because it's called toggler, you will go to this like three lines, the blue lines, and go like this. And then you can choose your options. You save changes. Let's see if it works. To where? Oh, I'm just on the checkout page to see if the gender, male and female, that I enter works. Yes, you have to put something in the cart, pretend you're checking out, click the checkout uh, button, it will take you to the checkout page. Are we good? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Any questions about Square? All right, so let's.
dive into the marketing plugins. Um, SEO, search engine optimization. Are you, have you heard of it? Are you familiar with it? Yes, so if you want to learn more, there are two courses tomorrow that talk about SEO. It's very important. Yoast SEO plugin is probably one of the most downloaded plugins uh, with five million downloads so far. It gives you a lot of, it's, once you install the plugin, it, let me see here. It adds specific settings in the back end so you can set up your SEO. For example, there are many, many different functions which we can't go over everything today. But for example, you can link to your web webmaster tools. Now it's called Search Console. You can also find your sitemap, which is something very important. Down here under Features, XML sitemaps. Hit the question mark and it will show you your sitemap. So a lot of different functionalities that you can play, you can work on. One thing that this plugin does is it will put a section called Yoast SEO on every single page and also on all your product page. I'm gonna show you. In here, let me show you a page, a sample. This is the section I'm talking about called Yoast SEO for you to enter all your metadata. Metadata helps Google understand and find your site. So here you add this snippet. So this, looks, this looks familiar, right? This area, it looks like something Google will show up on the search page. So this is how you can enter the information that you want Google to read. So if you want a different title than the title that you have on the page, you can enter it here or it will just use the same title. If you want a different slug, is URL extension. So if you want a different extension, we will go here. Enter your meta description. So I'll start typing. It, the beauty of it is it'll tell you if you're too long or you're too short. Add the focus keyword that you want to use for this page. Another good thing about this plugin is it will tell you if you're doing something wrong. For example, this red dot here, meaning you type in something wrong or you don't, you're not meeting the requirement to have your page SEO optimized, search engine optimized. So you, you can pretty much self-learn how to do this by just following this guideline. That's pretty cool. Any questions so far? The, yeah, so <laughs> it's not as easy. Uh, for example, let's look at the first one. No focus keyword was set for this page. Of course, I didn't enter anything. So I have to say, let's say sample. Oh, more problems. Okay, great. The focus keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of the copy. Make sure the topic is clear, clear immediately. So we have to go back to our paragraph and make sure that keyword sample is in your paragraph, right? So that's what it's telling you. What's the next problem? The keyword density is 0%, which is too low. The focus keywords was found zero times. So typically it's three times, no more than three times on each page. So if you type in your keywords in a very organic way though, you can just say sample, sample, sample three times. It, it's not gonna work. What else? A meta description has, been, has, not been, uh, has been specified, but does not contain the focus keywords and so forth. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, Sorry. I'll go. Come back to you. To create, oh, you mean like card page, checkout page, all of those pages, or? Oh, yes, yeah, so you have to create your own product, if that's what you mean. Um,
Right. Yes. Correct. That's a very good question. Like, I will go to these two, like SEO. If I got a green here, then you're good. That's our experience. Now, that doesn't mean you can't have any red. You can still have red to get that green. So, try, yeah. So, but this is, I can tell you the yours is very straight. Like, they follow the T of what Google is trying to, you know, is asking for. And sometimes it's hard. You know, so I would try to make it as much as possible and let that has, have that green light on top, and then you're good. Or at least yellow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good too. Yeah, it's actually a fault of theirs. Like, if you're everyone recommending milk, but there's some problems. Like, it, 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 I mean, food servers are, are a great. I mean, yeah, they. they What did they say? Did they say they're working on it or? Yeah, well they they're not that sorry to say they're not that great for support. Yeah. So Even your the premium? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So um, but I just I just think it's important to keep just write to them and just if everyone keeps saying the wrong thing, maybe they'll work on it a little bit more. I think that's where the keyword comes from. Yeah. Yes. What would you say is the second best plug in for SEO? Because the things that I'm working on impact you as a complex your experience. Oh, wow. Why would this? Is it because of custom theme or? No. It's like when you have so many things. That is so strange. What kind of conflict? Because that might be something Yoast can send you a little snippet, a code to just add it, and then it will be fine. Because I really can't think of more comprehensive SEO plugin at this point. Uh huh. Huh. Interesting. Um, yeah. Write them about it. Tell them that's a theme conflict and then sometimes they send you a little snippet like a little coding and you, you either have the, if you're familiar with how to work on like coding and stuff then you can end you know put it under maybe your theme file or what have you or ask somebody else to help you yeah they should be able to fix that that's strange for five million downloads you would think <laughs> they should work with most of the themes yeah oops what am I doing Okay. That's true. But she said it's a very popular theme, so. Mm hmm Oh, she can switch it to. Mm-hmm. 
Right. No, that's a good point. Um, she could use the ba she could switch it to the basic, the 2017 theme, and see if it works. So, all right. So the next one I'm going to talk about is who has Google Analytics? Who use Google Analytics? Very good. All right. How about enhance e-commerce Google Analytics? No. Just one? OK. Um, Google Analytics came out a few years ago, something called enhanced e-commerce on the Google Analytics. And it provides much better analytics data for your e-commerce store. So let's get to that. Well, first, you have to have an account. So sign up if you hear. Uh, well, just search for Google Analytics and sign up, OK? And make sure your store is linked to the analytics. That's to start. No. No, not at all. So here, then let me see, where is it? Um, go to the plugins, enhance e-commerce for I mean, e-commerce for WooCommerce store settings. This plugin is really helpful because Google Analytics or Enhanced E-commerce Google Analytics wants to connect to your store. And one way to do this is through this plugin. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a lot of coding and stuff. So here, you will enter your Google Analytics ID. Once you sign up an account, you should have the ID. and then. Check some of these boxes. You can just let it say auto. It's fine. Add Google site tracking code and add e-commerce tracking code. And save. That's all you need on the WooCommerce store side. I'm going to talk about the, the Google Analytics and just the enhanced e-commerce Google Analytics in just a little bit. Any questions so far? With this one? OK. A little bit of everything. This is going to be interesting. So if you think you know, taking it, you know, finding the right plugins and to enhance your WooCommerce store can be time consuming, I have something for you. It's called Booster for WooCommerce. So this plugin has almost everything you need for a WooCommerce store and beyond. It contains over 100 plugins all in one. So let's go in. So here, go to your plugins. Here, it's right here. Booster for WooCommerce settings. So here you go, a long list of plugins. Now, the beauty of it is you don't have to install all of them. You can pick and choose the one you want so your site is not overloaded. So for example, under the prices and currencies, you can have currency per product, display, display price, prices for products in different currencies, offer your price, let your customers suggest their price for the products in WooCommerce, wholesale price. So if you're in selling wholesale, set wholesale pricing depending on product quantity in cart. Buy more, pay less. Under the button and price labels, you can add to cart. You can change the add to cart button label, change the tax um, by cut by product type, by category, or by individual products. Call for price. Customize, cut, create any custom price label for all WooCommerce products with MT price. More button labels. Set place order button label, so you can set it differently. On the product size, even more. Um, product add-ons, add paid or free discount add-ons to your, to your WooCommerce products. Oh, the list go on. Product listings, how many products per page, sorting, add more sorting options, rename or remove some of the default sorting options or rearrange it. Under cart and checkout, you can name the cart uh, differently, customize it, customize the checkout fields, customize the checkout info, similar to the other 
checkout manager. But again, don't go crazy. You want your customers to buy. Uh, payment gateways. Oh, gateways currency converter. Gateways min max amounts. Add minimum and maximum amounts for WooCommerce payment gateways to show up. And a lot more. Yes. Shipping and orders, oh. Address formats, order custom statuses. You can change the different statuses if you don't like how they are right now. Shipping options. It also has a PDF invoicing and packing slips. Emails and miscellaneous. Custom emails, add custom emails to WooCommerce. Email options. Send more, send, uh, add an additional um, email recipients to your WooCommerce emails, and so forth. Any questions? Yes. Well, sometimes, uh, even though there has a lot of options, there's a lot to choose from. So I kind of picked out the ones that we, we use a lot for our clients. So if you, want, if you don't want to go through the list, then you can look at, you know, consider the ones that I, I've talked about. But here, if you're like, that's not enough, I need more. Boom, you have over 100 on one plugin. Cool? All right. So, if that's not enough, I have another one. <laughs> it's called Eve Essential Kit for WooCommerce number one. This one is not that crazy. It's only 20. <laughs> but also, it does a lot of cool stuff. So let me just put it up under plugins. Let's go back to that. And here, plugin list. Again, if you don't want it, you don't have to install all of them. Just activate the one you want. For example, wish list. You want to add a wish list to your, to your, um, to your site. You, can, you want to add a compare uh, capability so your customers can compare products within your site. Zoom magnifier, zoom in your product picture so they can see better. Many, many more. Uh, all the tracking, cart messages, multi-vendor, um, review reminder, Live chat, ooh, product add-ons, again, waiting list, and so forth. All of them. Yeah, and it's, it's free. Yeah. We good? Right, I feel like the booster one, the 100 one, are more like operation. Yeah. And then this one is more marketing, if you want to, yeah, distinguish it, yeah. Good? All right. So, and other things. Let's see. So we have talked about a lot of plugins to enhance your WooCommerce store. Now I kind of want to take you away from WordPress for a minute. How many of you send email, market, email campaigns to your clients? Okay, great, good. So despite um, you know, social media, email marketing is still one of the very important communication tool you use with your clients. We use MailChimp. Um, we find it very easy to use. They have over 7 million users and send 1 billion emails a day. And they also integrate with WooCommerce, which is a very important feature because after the integration, you can set up email automation such as welcome new subscribers. We cover abundant cards and follow up on purchases. Make sure you have like a simple email box 
sign a box on your website so your users can subscribe. Um, opt in on your checkout page, there's a little box that said subscribe to my newsletter. So make sure you have that. So once your customers per make a purchase, the email address will go to the database. And whether you use MailChimp or any other marketing solution, email marketing solution, it's very important you have one for your store success. And hence, e-commerce Google Analytics. So we talk about the plugin. So that plugin that I would, should take care of everything on the site for you, now you need to work on it on your Google Analytics. What you, where you will go is go to, let me see if I can pull up something. Just use ours. So here, this is your Google Analytics. So you go to admin at the bottom. Under view, go to e-commerce settings. Here, you make sure is the status here under e enable e-commerce is on. Okay. So if you want to, and this is optional, you don't have to, if you want to enable related products, fine. And then next step. Enhance e-commerce settings. Make sure it's on also. Here you can add your funnel steps. So whatever makes sense to your business from the product views to checkout, you can add the different steps here. So Google can read it. Okay, so let's say is product. I'm just typing something in. And then next one is add, add to cart. The next one is checkout. Done. And hit submit. I'm not going to do that because we're not a e commerce site. So, any question? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, WooCommerce, right. It, it really depends. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see if the plugin has. The new features, I think, here. <coughs> yep. Sorry. Um, I think I find somewhere on the, that's a general setting for WooCommerce, I can't find it right now, that would say, I know cart, add to cart, and checkout is one of them, I can't remember the first one. But every store is a little different, but if you're unsure, you know, I can, if I can give you my card and I'll find it, I'll send it to you. Yeah. So, all right. That's all. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.